Oh, <gasps> wow. Oh, wow. It's going to snipe me. <gasps> Please, come on in. Greetings. I want you to enjoy yourself today. We are glad to have you with us. Big Poppy Sauce with you here, and welcome back to episode number 24 of our adventure in... Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, we were awarded the legendary gear of our late friend and comrade, Champion Urbosa. Then, we travel deep into the wasteland in search of a great fairy spoken about in local legends. After besting a Mojula and surviving the blasting winds of a sandstorm, we arrived in the bones of a mythical leviathan, which housed the desert fairy Terra. Now, we work to acquire the Thunderhelm, liberate this region, and also investigate the fabled labyrinth of the sound before traveling to the deep northeast province. Uh, oh, what a courageous V! I heard from Barda. She said you found her. Anyway, close one, huh? You must be worn out, right? Here, take this as a thanks. Buy yourself something nice in the market. A hundred rubies. Thanks. Melina, Melina, I slayed a Mojula, do you believe me? I can show you. Savuta. Oh, it's you. Hmm. My husband was the first boy to ever tell me I was beautiful. And so I need those Mojula guts no matter what. But what can I do to get my own? Here, take them. Take them, I got tons. Here you go. Wait, these? <gasps> Mojula guts! Oh, Sark so. <laughs> This is all I have to thank you with, but I insist you take it. 300 rubies. <laughs> oh, there you go. Thank you. Oh, it was really, really hard, but you know what? We did it for your husband. He's a good guy. He treats you well. You deserve it. This will save him. <laughs> of course. Yeah, premium. I even froze them in my salt. All right, guys. I just thought I'd climb to the top of this rock and treat you guys to a view. Oh, would you believe that? These little rats hide in the... <laughs> yeah, you found me! Thanks, little buddy. Bye-bye! Uh, <laughs> of course they would hide up here. Like, look at this place. Yeah, I thought I'd come to the top of the rock here and treat you guys to a nice view before we head out. Isn't that crazy, eh? I wonder what's over here. Huh. I don't really even see anything. Guys, while I was looking at the map, I noticed that we could fast travel to this. We can go to Vadnaboris. All right, let's go. Oh, look! There's a tower right here. Oh, my lord. Wow, that's actually perfect. Isn't it crazy to see him so close? Like, without him being all, you know, scary? Wow. Do you think we can climb them? Let's go see. Oh. That's tough. That's tough. Okay, okay. So we're going to go over to this tower in a second. Let's just go around this rock ledge here. Like this whole big rock. Because this rock is huge. See, this is a nice big vantage point. So let's just go around and uh, survey the area. Okay, okay. Nothing nothing down here. Oh, what's this? Oh, bush. <laughs> Okay, nothing out here. Oh, wow. Look at this. Wow. Okay, okay. All right. I'm just going to mark stuff. Uh, I'm going to go around and mark stuff. <laughs> and if it looks interesting, we'll go to it. We'll wow, wow. Guys, look at that. Doesn't that just kind of grab your attention? The amount of times I'm in awe in this game. So, yeah, I'm just going to ping stuff, and then I'll travel to it, and I'll uh, and I'll show you guys the landscape. I want you guys to have a nice, encompassing experience. So let's keep looking. Is there anything down here? Nothing down here. Nothing. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's new! Swift Violet! This vitality rich flower blooms mainly on cliff sides. Your movement speed. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, let's keep looking around. All right. Oh, look! A shrine! A shrine! Okay, okay. <laughs> I got it. Wow. Yeah, these vantage points. These are clutch. Just looking around. Looking around. Whoa, what's this? What's that? <laughs> yeah, we're definitely going over there. Wow. What's that? Oh, look at all these minerals. Okay, we might go to there. I'll be very efficient. I'll make sure the two I uh, get these places quick. 
and uh, yeah, I'll show you all the places that I ping. So, oh, it's the, it's these fancy blocks. Yeah, it definitely looks like Koroks live there. Anything else? Anything else? Oh wow, look at this mountain. Okay, 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 and I'll go to the peak of this mountain too. All right. So that's our objectives for the day. I'll go around the uh, the rest of the top of this rock and just show you guys uh, around the landscape. Man, that's the highest point I think we've there is right now. Oh, guys, remember there? Remember there? That's where we got Ganon's horse. We have come so far. It feels awesome to look around the landscape and like see places that we've conquered. <laughs> Like these two towers too? I'm no conspiracy theorist, but that looks like signs of aliens. <laughs> that has Korok written all over it. There's the Great Plateau, guys. There's where it all started. Wow. That's kind of crazy, eh? I still got my first uh, set of clothes. <laughs> and I even equipped a fitting weapon too. <laughs> guys, this was us at one point. Day one us, day 20 us. <laughs> look how cool we look. We even got these nice tight pants down here too. Oh, you know, it's too bad that the Gerudo women wouldn't let me wear these in there. I'd be just, if I wore this in the Gerudo establishment, this would just be unethical. I would be thirst trapping everybody. Oh uh, yeah, I'll, we'll keep this equipment on. We kind of look cool. All right, all right, all right. I'll keep looking around. And vantage points like this it just makes you want to look around. Look at all that evil over there. Wow, guys, look at how much it cleared up, eh? Like at all the places that grab my attention guys over here wow i've been looking at that place like over the span of the game and i just think like that grabs my curiosity like crazy all right all right let's continue on that is our next objective is to liberate this tower we haven't had a tower in so long and we're finally gonna liberate this province we'll be able to see all these places too oh the boys don't do it don't do it, man. Let's just climb this cliff here. Seems like easy, easy peasy. Oh, wow. What's going on over here? Oh, it's a puzzle. Here, let's check it out. Okay, that's the shape of an L. Well, that's not an L. That's a J. Two blocks high long side. That one's raised in the middle. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Make sure you shoot and you don't have blanks loaded today, eh, guys. Jeez. <laughs> there we go. Nice. You found me. Thanks, little buddy. Bye-bye. <laughs> you little scoundrel. Okay, nice. Let's get a bit of height here. Oh my god. That is a ferocious win. Wait, wait. Can I go in here? Oh, wow. Look at this, guys. Oh, it's quicksand. It's quicksand. Oh my gosh. Wait a second. Where's the bottom of these rocks? These... See, it's not showing the bottom of these rocks, but like, it's showing that stone over there, right? So it should be highlighting the rest of this so I could stasis it. Okay, I've got an idea. I've got an idea, guys. I've got an idea. <laughs> watch this. Watch this. Oh, it does work too! I'm not gonna lie, man. That was like... That was like 25, 75. I didn't think that would work, but... It was worth it. All right. Ugh. I'm gonna try and stack these two on each other. Nice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. I love the climbing mechanic. Wasteland tower. Wow. Yeah, it does feel like a wasteland. Let's get to the top of this sucker. Okay. <laughs> we're here. We're here. Let's liberate this thing. <laughs> yes. We can finally check out what's going on in this part of the map. Like, see all the name locations and stuff, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love getting these towers. It is such a cementing feeling, like a cementing feeling of we're just doing great work out here. Okay, okay. Oh! <laughs> yes! Wow! 
I've been looking at n like nothing the whole time. Just put on a warm doublet. We are freezing. Here, let's take a look around. You guys remember that? When we took down the uh, the Yiga clan. Oh, we haven't been here. I heard a girl talk about this earlier. The Torma Dunes. Let's look at the topography. I think that's what it's called. Sometimes you can tell a lot just by looking at the way the landscape looks, you know? Case in point. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty barren on the side. And that's the shrine we just marked. Guys, look at this. That's the place that we marked. Wow. It looks like a maze. This is called Champion's Gate. Huh. That sounds kind of like scary, you know? Yeah, we're gonna go over here. Mount Grange. This is like the biggest mountain uh, we've seen yet. That's like in this part of the world. It's way higher than the tower and where the Divine Beast is too. East Gerudo Meza. Look at in here. Wait a second. Okay, you see that right there? Oh, and this right here? Okay. I bet there's got to be a Korok over here then, too. The Kukot Plateau. The Great Cliffs. This is where that sandstorm is always going on. Hmm. Maybe if we have time, we'll check here, too. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, we'll go over here first. Let's start executing our objectives. Oh, look at that wind. Look at that juicy wind. Yeah, yeah. Let's go here first. This looks so interesting. Like, this to me, I mean, I definitely like history because it's just, it's such a curiosity type of thing, you know? You have no closure to an extent, but you just kind of wonder, like, like what went on here? Look at these, man. Doesn't this just grab your attention? Like, to me, I just look at this and I'm... Oh, look. There's a sp something spinning over there. This one's got a torch on it. That one's got a torch on it, too. Huh. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, awesome. Yeah, I wonder why this torch is here. Oh, look, there's a ball. There's a ball. Huh. This ball's got engravings on it. I've never seen, like, one with engravings. Like this. Can I lift it up? I can't lift it up. Is it metal? It is metal. It is metal. Okay, okay. Um, all right. What's even going on over here? Oh, look at, look at this. Okay. It looks like ball hold. Oh, there's a ball. Look at the side of that ball, though. That doesn't look... Wait a second. No, no, that's not the same thing on this ball. Look at how many there are. Those are like ball ball receptors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait a second, seven. Let me check my note. Hey, this girl gave us a quest a while ago. There are statues of the seven heroines east of Drudo Town. They may have something to do with the location of the hidden shrine. A hidden shrine? When the symbols of the seven find their place, the blessed path will be revealed. Oh, each of these girls has a symbol? Oh, look, hers is on her face. Her, she's got two two circles. Does this one have one? Not on her face. Oh, wait. Where's this one? Huh, maybe this girl doesn't have one. Okay, let's check them all out, though. Okay, that one's on her face. That one's... That one's on her sword. That one's on her sword. Okay, that's like a... I don't even know what that is. Like a... I don't even... A dash. Two points, a dash. Oh, th this girl's on her neck. That's like a... Maybe an arrowhead. Where's this one at? Not on her sword or her neck. Oh, this one's on her neck. Look at that. That's like a V. All right, let's make sure we have all the balls. Okay, this has got to go down there. We know that, so... I'll just yeet that off. <laughs> look at this, guys. Look at this mode. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, okay, we have all of them. We have all the balls. I'm going to gather all the balls and put them in the middle, and then we'll sort what's going on here. This puzzle is cool. This puzzle... If you came across this, you wouldn't know what to do. I mean, may maybe you would after a while, but... It's not so easy. Oh. So that girl doesn't have one on her sword. She doesn't have anything protruding from her neck or her head. Here, we'll check. We'll check it around the base. Oh, this girl's got hers on her toe. <laughs> okay, okay. It's like the, the earbud one. Oh wow, it looks like they can be on the back of the sword. Maybe this girl's is on her neck. So the earbud. Then there's the V one. And then we never found this girl's one. It wasn't up there, so it must be down here somewhere. Oh look, it's on her sword. It's on her sword. It's it's the circle. It's the donut one. Okay, let's do these three first then. Yeah, put this one in right now. <laughs> so the earbud is next. The earbud's over here with me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then this one's the donut one. Let's go. We're automatic with it. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. this one was the two dots one. Good. Oh yeah, this one was the dash, the dash. <laughs> nice. Oh. Okay, the pointy arrowhead thing. Let's go. This is the last one. Oh, ho, 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 ho. wow, wow.
This one wasn't that easy, honestly. I wonder what kind of treasure we'll get here. And the girl in town gave us gave us this one in a quest. <laughs> Completed. Let's go. Wow. First shrine of the day. Oh. Imagine if there's a puzzle too. This one's got to have good loot. I'm calling it. This one's got to have good loot. Alright, here we go. And it's treasure. Let's go. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Korshahu. By entering this place, you've proven your worth. <laughs> Let's get after it. Oh, man. Flame Spear. A magical spear forged in the magma of Death Mountain. Attack when the blade glows to expel powerful flames. This was forged in Death Mountain. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm totally dropping something for this. Look at how cool that looks. <laughs> I totally dropped the Boku Club for that. Man, I love to save these these uh, shrine owners from their cage. Thank you. You almost got me in the first half up there. I promise to make it count. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> We've got four now! Oh, We get another upgrade, guys? And may the goddess smile upon you. Oh, that is so awesome. Alright, guys. So I deleted that pin down there because we just did that objective. Now we're going to go to the next one. We're going to go to this one next. Oh, what's that? Oh my god! That's a spider! Oh, that's a guardian! We've never seen one that works! Look at it go! Look at its mischievous little feet! <laughs> wow! That thing is huge! Holy... Oh! oh. Wow! <laughs> wow! Oh, I kind of want to see if we can take it! I kind of want to see if we can take it. Okay, okay. We're going to take that on. Not now, but uh, when we come back over here. Because we're going to fast travel up there again. <laughs> Let me just have some of my stamina juice. We'll take that on when we go back up there again. I'm just going to get us to this uh, shrine over here. After we check out what's going on over here, we'll go fast travel up there. And then we'll continue on with our goals. But a new goal of ours today is to annihilate <laughs> that spider over there. The Guardian. What I would give for those sand shoes that guy over at Gerudo Town has been wearing. Alright guys, we're finally here after I just ran across that desert in the scolding heat. Oh, whoa! Look at this! <laughs> There's a dead Gerudo girl <laughs> on our activation portal. Hi ma'am, can I help you? <laughs> step bro, step bro, I'm stuck. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I only say that because I've seen that on memes. I promise I'm pure. Ah, yes, ah, yes. Pokey. I just found the shrine, too. Oh, my throat. It's so dry. I can't move a muscle. If this really is the end, I wish I could have one last taste. One sip. One sip of an ice-cold noble pursuit. Uh, what? A druid named Pokey has collapsed in front of an ancient shrine. You'll have to find a way to revive her if you want to get inside. She was barely coherent, but it sounded like she was muttering about wanting to drink something called Noble Pursuit. She's obviously like a Gerudo girl. She lives in Gerudo Town. So if she frequents Gerudo Town, then the drink would be in Gerudo Town. So we need to go to Gerudo Town and figure that out. Interesting. All right, guys, after searching high and low, I figured... The Noble Canteen <laughs> is the place where maybe the Noble Pursuit drink is made. Hello, Furiosa, my favorite bartender. Usuk, a Hylian way, huh? 
I can't tell how old you are, but this place is definitely not for young Vey. Because the drinks we make here are different from regular drinks. For one, they have a rare treat in them. Ice. Uh, do you know anything about Noble Pursuit? Oh, you want to try our signature drink? Noble Pursuit. Unfortunately, I need a huge amount of ice to make that drink, and I'm fresh out right now. Besides, it's really strong drink. Even if I could make it, I wouldn't sell it to a little way like you. Actually, there's a girl in the desert that needs this. <laughs> Lady, please, you gotta listen to me. What you say? Pokey's collapsed. There's ice at the ice house, but my legs aren't in the best shape for holding ice. Should I get it for you? Can I help you? Aww. I'm a strong girl, I promise. Are you serious? You'll get it? That'd be a huge help. Anyway, the ice house is north of town. And she manages it. But I think if you explain the situation, she'll let you have some ice. If you plan to go, you'll need to get there while it's bright out. If you bring the ice to the entrance of the ruins between town and the ice house, I can make it from there. All right, all right. This is really a grind out here. You know I treat you guys to some closure, so. All right, so yeah, we're off this way. She said north of Drudo Town, and this is straight north. Like, you guys all lost your heads. <laughs> Why are you walking around? Guys have literally lost all your heads. That makes no sense. Electric key swing. A rare electric key swing. The part of the electric keys that produces electricity. Wow. What? Wow, you guys can all stop wearing this head right now. Oh my gosh. This is literally just insufferable. Yeah. Yeah, get gone. When are all you guys gonna. You guys, all you have no head. What? <laughs> what do you mean? It's like a cult of just people with no head. <laughs> That's just straight ridiculous. Nice. Yeah. So that's a trick. Whenever we see an element of some kind, whether it's fire or ice, use the opposite arrow of their element to eviscerate them. So this is where she's at. Hello, hello, I've come for ice. Oh, wow. If you need something, come back tomorrow. Wow, look at this place. As if there's just like an ice house in the middle of the desert and it's like on the desert floor. I think there's salt and sand, and salt helps uh, preserve stuff. So that kind of makes sense. This is kind of like what the Egyptians would be doing, I imagine. All right, well, it looks like we can't do anything, so we shall have a rest. All righty, we'll go see the sweet princess. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. Oh. And this is an ice house used for storing ice brought down from the mountains. Actually, I need some ice. I see. Well, if Fury also wants ice, then you should bring her some. You're permitted to take some ice. You've taken the heat into account, right? If you move too slowly, the ice will surely melt. <laughs> oh my god, this is ridiculous. Alright, alright. This shouldn't be too hard. I mean, it's only 12 in the middle of the day. I mean, it's absolutely hot as, you know, hot as the undercarriage of Lucifer. But, uh, oh. <laughs> wow, okay, we gotta, we gotta stick to the shadows. All right, easy for us. <laughs> easy for us. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, look, look. Wow, <laughs> the boy. <laughs> That's horrible timing. Guys, I actually have an idea. I have a really good idea. I have a really good idea. Watch this. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> How far is that going? Oh, wow! <gasps> that was a horrible idea. <laughs> oh, get it out of the sun. Okay, good. <laughs> it had potential, honest. Okay. okay, I'm gonna throw this block into the shadow. Yeah! Yep. You're gonna have to get froze, boss. Oh, watch this. Oh, yeah, let's go! 
Wow, buddy. <laughs> Automatic with it, you know. Well, I wish I had more room for their weapons because they had some decent ones. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, this is kind of meta right now. This is a good idea. Oh, I heard something. We'll go around. We'll go around quick. Oh, no. <laughs> Stop melting. Okay, we'll put it down right here. Nice. Instant clap. <laughs> you know what? We're going to try the trick one more time. And we're going to go down this alley. That's a tough look. That's the end of the hammer. Okay. <laughs> Let's just... <laughs> I almost smoked that goblin with it. No. Oh, yeah. We just can't let this thing get melted. Yeah, you guys want some? I have some beef jerky right here for you. Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, no. Stop doing that. No. Why, of all things, do you have a fire arrow? Yeah. <laughs> Later, boys. Of all things, that guy had fire arrows. Wow, thank God for ice arrows. Ice arrows are OP. Hey, over here, this way. Bring the ice over here. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Here you go. <laughs> hmm, you are. Well, whatever. I don't care who you are as long as I get my ice. Looks like the ice is in good shape, Sock. So, could you please let Pokey know? Tell her that I made the best one ever and I've got it waiting for her. <sighs> Knowing her, she'll probably come running when she hears that there's an amazing drink with her name on it. Wow, guys, let's go. We finessed that first try, too. Let's go see if these guys are back here. I'll clap them real quick and then I'll head out. Oh, he's gonna try to do Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give me that sword. I'm gonna cut you up with your own sword. <laughs> we can't really feel bad for him, guys. He did have a knight's broadsword, so you know how he had to have gotten that because he certainly was no knight. Okay, let's go let Pokey know. Aw. Hey. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Those are not good boys. If we could domesticate them for a couple thousand years, they would be good boys, but they are not good boys. Pokey, we're back. We've got your we've got your drink ready. Not here, but somewhere else. I can't take it anymore. I'm going to rot here. <clears throat> Actually. Pokey, Pokey, there's a drink back in Gerudo Town. Come on. Uh, eh? <laughs> Wow, one mention of a drink and she's up straight as a board. Did you say best noble pursuit ever? <laughs> I am gone! <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh my gosh. All I had to say was there was a drink. I didn't even have to present it to her and she was gone. Unbelievable. Alright guys, let's go. Another shrine! <laughs> We really had to work for that one. There better be something good in here. I just had to go across the desert and <laughs> retrieve a block of ice and take it in the searing hot sun. Absolutely bonkers. <laughs> it's not much, but it's honest work. Oh, let's go! Oh, there's water too. Nice. <laughs> to you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Mizesuma. By entering this place, you've already proven your worth. Mizei Suma, can you bless me? <laughs> Diamond! The most precious gem one can find in Harul. Its signature sparkle has charmed Haruleans for generations. As such, it has sold for a very high price since ancient times. Oh my god, that's our first one! That's our first diamond! I wonder how much that's worth. Thank you. I had to work extra hard for this one. I will make full use of this. <laughs> oh, I love that. We've got five now, guys. 
May the goddess smile upon you. All right, up to uh to the divine beast. All right, guys. Well, oh, there it is, right there. I was just gonna say, I promised you guys we would go deal with this guy. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. It has been so long. We're really about to do this. Wow. The last time we saw one of these guys, it literally was bullying us so hard. It was on the Great Plateau by that one shrine. We saw one of these operational ones, or at least the top half. It wasn't moving. <laughs> Look at its feet. <gasps> wow. Oh, wow. It's going to snipe me. <gasps> yeah, I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so. <laughs> Get behind this rock. Yeah, I know these guys don't like electricity. <laughs> oh wow! Let's go! Oh wow! Oh, I got a treat for it, guys! Watch this! Watch. Get her bosun! <laughs> oh yeah! You're losing all your feet, buddy! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Oh wow, no, no, not like this, not like this, <laughs> let's go, yeah buddy, you thought, <laughs> she's almost got no feet, no, oh, <laughs> Unbelievable! Oh, we got it! We got it! We, we got it! We actually just killed one! Look at the parts! Look at the parts! Oh my god! Three cores out of that thing! Oh, oh my god, guys! We did it! Guys, and we weren't even wearing our good equipment, too. <laughs> wow. In its defense, though, we did have to herbose it, and we also <laughs> kind of died to it, but we had a fairy. Holy, man. Oh, my God. We just took one down. Wow. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm literally overwhelmed with happiness right now. <laughs> oh look, guys on top of that we now have jewels we can harvest. We'll harvest it after we deal with- <laughs> Oh yeah! And that's a shame we don't have a hammer anymore. We do have bombs though. Oh nice. Amber opal. Oh wow, let's go. Oh there's another one here. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah as if we end up in champions gate too that's poetic oh there's a there's a root on the wall grab that quick oh wow we've got some strong guys right now this one's 288 <gasps> oh yeah headshot nice it's got yeah oh try for i dropped a sword for it <laughs> oh wow! Get out of here, buddy. How did they? Sur how did he survive that? That was a bomb blast. Oh my god, guys, we actually got a guardian. <laughs> I can't even. Oh my god! Wow, day one me, I would have been literally dropping stool in my undies. I would have been so scared. Oh yeah, nice. It's only a forked one. Oh, reinforced diesel shield. Oh, what's going on over here, though? <gasps> oh, could be one of our little friends here. Oh, and we got a wild berry from that. Let's see here. Let's check it out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice. Yeah, ha, ha, you found me. <laughs> Thanks, little buddy. Bye bye. <laughs> Oh, 
Zap Shroom. This mushroom grows wild in the Gerudo region. The cap is naturally insulated, so when used in cooking, it will offer protection against electricity. Wow. It's the first one we ever found. Wow, our shrine sensor is going off. We'll continue down Champion's Path, though. We have to earn whatever's over here. <laughs> oh, these guys are strong. I know the black ones are heralded for their for their strength. Oh yeah, this guy's not that strong. This. <laughs> nope. Not today. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Get lost. Not today, Buster. Wow. I know this guy's strong. I know this guy's strong as an ox. Yeah, 288. The black ones are always cracked strong. <laughs> oh, what's this? Dragonbone Moblin Spear. This spear is a fan favorite among Moblins. Its spear is made from fossilized bones adorned with spike, which greatly increases its stabby power. <laughs> we will take that. That's actually pretty... Wait. That's pretty good. I mean, that's that's all right. The thing about spears is that they have a. Uh... Oh wow, guys! <laughs> We're here. We are finally at this place. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this place kind of looks spooky. South Lame Labyrinth. Huh. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, man. This place is kind of giving me the chills a little bit. I know that in ancient legends and in like Greek mythology, sometimes there's a minotaur in a labyrinth. <laughs> that would actually make me suck my thumb and be scared. I'd be so scared. Honestly, I would be shitting my pants. To you who sets foot in here, my blessing awaits you at Labyrinth's End. The Desert Labyrinth. <laughs> wow. Wow, this music's kind of making me on edge. Uh, let's figure out what's even going on here right now. Oh wow, it looks like the shrine is dead ahead. Yeah, it sounds like the shrine is literally dead ahead. Wait a second. It's underneath! <laughs> it's underneath! How do I even get in here? Wow. I've never seen a setup like this before for a shrine. <laughs> yeah. Whatever's here is definitely good. Who builds a labyrinth and doesn't put some extraordinary, <laughs> extraordinary loot in there? What do you mean? Alright guys, well everybody knows the first rule of mazes. Always take a left easy only take left so that's like the number one rule it's actually so like spooky in here i'm just expecting something big to pop out at me <laughs> squeak squeak i just want to find the cheese oh wow there's evil over there there's potent amounts of evil in the vicinity now the only thing is i have to make sure i don't get lost although i do see on the mini map where we're at which is kind of nice guys i'm not gonna lie i really am trying to be sneaky in here because i don't want to get hurt all right it's confirmed that uh that room was all fake news i am seriously expecting something to jump out at me i'm not kidding <gasps> treasure treasure <laughs> oh I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but we actually have nicer stuff. We'll leave that for the next guy. See, that's what evil looks like. If you ever see that in real life, don't go near it. Urbosa's fury is ready. <laughs> oh, wow. That's what it sounds like when it... I guess it recharges. It's got on a recharging cycle. Yeah, the way she, the way she's like, Urbosa's fury is ready. That's kind of, it's kind of badass. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, Urbosa in terms of like uh, champion character, she's pretty awesome. I can't wait to see the other champions, but like, but so far, Urbosa is definitely in high regard right now. This is like the only other way I can enter. Oh, there's there's lots of evil over here. Ooh, hello. Yeah, everybody knows the rule: only take lefts. <laughs> if only you could know how scared I am. Oh, treasure! Ha <laughs> ha! Three hundred rubies. Wow, some fine taste. Oh, more evil. <laughs> more evil. 
Look at all this evil here. Oh, we'll go this way. Actually, every. <gasps> wow, there is so much evil. We must be getting close. I mean, if there's, if they're really trying to get me to not go anyway. Everybody knows the rule: you only can take lefts. See? <laughs> oh, well. I guess this is a left. <laughs> if we just don't turn right, we have to take it. It's a left. Oh, look at this, guys. This has got to mean something. No way they're just putting these up for the wrong way. <laughs> we only are taking lefts. What's that? Whoa. Guys, that looks like Balaria's sword. Oh, yeah. That's Balaria's sword. That is Balaria's sword. Oh, wow. That looks so nice. This would probably go for pretty good on, like, you know, the internet. On Facebook Marketplace. That would definitely get some loot, you know? Some shekels. Uh... <gasps> Golden Claymore! Only the most talented Gerudo sword fighters carry this two-handed sword. It's actually much lighter than it appears, and it's surprisingly easy to wield. That thing looks so cool. That is definitely Valeria's. She has that thing when she's beside Riju. <gasps> so much evil. Huh. Well, we can't go back that way because I got no more stamina. <laughs> squeak, 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 squeak. Okay, we're almost there. Uh, oh, thank God. It's in here. <gasps> oh, oh, this is it. This is it. Oh. <gasps> Dila Mag Shrine! <laughs> Let's go! Wow! Wow! Oh. This has got to be something good. No way somebody's hiding something in a labyrinth and it isn't sweet. <laughs> okay, okay. To you who sits foot in this shrine, I am Dila Mag. By entering this place, you've proven your worth. <laughs> What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? <gasps> Barbarian armor! Attack up! Oh my god! My. <laughs> squeak, 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 squeak! <laughs> Armor once favored by an ancient warlike tribe from the Farron region. The war paint bolsters your fighting spirit and raises your attack power. Oh my god. That's the best item we've gotten like this whole game. Besides my headband, of course. Oh, it's got feathers for shoulders. My body temperature has risen by at least 8 degrees. <laughs> We gotta put it on. We gotta put it on. Oh my god! Look at this! This is this is actually the thumbnail of this video. Yeah, let's put on our tight pants too. <laughs> we look so cool. I look like a fitness influencer right now. If I like played if I played rugby like immediately after my workout or something. Look how cool we we got a flame spear and we look like a barbarian. Wow. Oh man. Thank you so much. You must have been one heck of a warrior back in the day. If you're guarding this kind of loot, thank you. Thank you for everything. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. And may the goddess smile upon you. Wow, guys, that is so awesome. Oh, the roof's unlocked now. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to the Divine Beast. I'm going to do everything I said I was going to do today. All right. Okay, okay. Okay, that's too cute. We can't do it to him. <laughs> Once we go over to this mountain, guess what we're going to do? I'll show you. We are getting out of this desert because honestly, I've seen too much desert. And we are going to be going here, guys. We're going to go into the Divine Beast. And we're going to start off by going here. That's going to be what's going on. But before all that, we have to go over here. So here we go. 
Yeah, I figured I'd come down here and I'd get this core. Okay, well, since this was in between A and B, I figured we'd come down here and get it because, come on, you can't just tempt me like that. Although this does look like the hardest core puzzle I've ever seen before. Yeah, so this is like two twin puzzles and this is the extra block right here. So I'm just going to analyze these two puzzles and see what's going on here. One high, two high, three high, two high, three high, two high, three corner, three corner, one, two, three, three high, confirmed, one, two, one, one, two, one. Whew, Five stacker right here. Five stacker over there. Two one one half. <laughs> this makes me feel like a dentist right now. <laughs> two one two confirmed. Three confirmed. Two two one two confirmed. Three confirmed. Check. Wait a second. Wait a second. This is a pyramid formation, right? This is a pyramid formation. See this, guys? I'm I'm doing some auditing right now. Pyramid formation. Fake pyramid formation. Look at this fake news. Oh, we've got a discrepancy over here. We've got a discrepancy over here. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Come out. Come out. Wherever you are, you little sneaker. <laughs> Knew it. <laughs> yeah. yeah ha, ha, you found me. Thanks, little buddy. Bye bye. <laughs> You're the most clever little Korok I've seen yet, you know that? <laughs> uh, alright, alright, we'll continue on. Wow, it's so barren up here. Okay, I'm gonna get to the top of this uh, mountaintop here. Just so we can get all the information we can get. Any more gems? Huh. <gasps> oh, wow! Oh, holy! Okay, doesn't look like it's working. Is there anything else? Oh, there's another one. Okay, I guess they're each not working. He's got all his legs intact. I've never seen one that's like, you know, not working and looks like that. But it, look, it's half in sand and it's not moving. The other one we saw was moving. Okay. Hmm. This is as, as uneasy as I can be. <laughs> Guys, I got a hunch that... I don't know, man. I don't even know anymore. Well, whatever. We got to get to that mountain anyway. We'll go here first. We'll get this. Oh, yeah. Nice. Get this guy's spring. Thank you, sir. Wow. Oh, there's one down here. I guess this just must be a graveyard then. You hear that? Huh. Well, I just like this bush. I want to get that guy's parts too. <laughs> this is so creepy, man. That other one was like lasering me when I was 50 feet away though. This guy hasn't done anything. Look at its feet though. They're all still intact. Yeah. I'm going to take a picture. Guardian Stalker. <laughs> Let's see if we can learn anything. The Sheikah of ancient Harul developed this as a weapon to combat Ganon. Its six legs give it extraordinary mobility compared to most current vehicles. And its power laser provides far greater offensive capability than conventional weaponry. Destroying the legs severely reduces its mobility. Oh boy. Well, if that's its parts, man, we could probably use it. Wait a second. If I can take a picture of it, but that doesn't make any sense because it's not moving. It hasn't lasered me yet. It's like before you know the stove is hot and you're just so curious you just want to touch it but you don't know <laughs> if you'll get burned oh, oh but look at all that cheese look at all that cheese over there guys this is like when you ask out like the first girl that you like you're like the anxiety is killing you it's not <laughs> it's like you put yourself through way more torture than you ever feel just doing it <laughs> <laughs> well, it isn't moving, right? So that should matter. And it looks like decrepit right now. It's just I can't get over all these feet look so perfect. <laughs> it's just got the feet. That's what's making me so scared, you know? It's just got feet that look so, so like they work, you know? If you cropped off all its feet, I wouldn't have to worry. I wouldn't worry, honestly. I wouldn't be as worried. But the thing is, is that all those feet look like they work this is such like an, an existential dilemma right now like i'm trying to reason whether this is a good idea or not if we go up really close oh you tricked me you're gonna answer for that oh no oh my god he almost got us oh yeah buddy here i got a i got a prize for you you win urbosis fury oh. Wow! Okay, off with those legs, buddy. Yeah, I'm taking them, they're mine. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's. Dude, this one is literally. Look at him. Oh, is he still good? He's still good! Get out of here! Wow! Oh my god! Look at all the cores! Wow! 
literally a scrapyard of parts and more over here okay that's it i'm never i'm never trusting another one again guys every single guardian is sus immediately no no chances given <laughs> okay oh this one doesn't have feet where do you think its feet went then maybe some scrappers came by <laughs> price of scrap is probably just you know through the roof <gasps> Whoa. Okay, this one doesn't have all its legs. Or does he? I swear, <laughs> these ones with their legs are freak... Oh, yeah. You chose today, eh? Today's the day you just wanna... You wanna not be a wolf. You wanna be on a barbecue. Yeah, get lost. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Honestly, I feel confident just because we have Urbosa's Fury, you know? Hey, guys, this one doesn't have all its legs. So do all the same rules apply? <laughs> I know I know what I, everything I just said about not trusting them, but it makes no point if I do trust them. Unless they're on my side, though. But I don't think any of them are on my side. See, look, that leg's not working. So I think I can go and get this guy's stuff. I'm going to approach from the, the side that doesn't have the eye. I just want some parts. I just want some parts, mister. Oh, <laughs> look at its claw. There's no way he's working. He, he wouldn't ever let me get this close. Oh, thank God. <laughs> you look like you almost were working, buddy. Three, six. They have six legs. That guy only had four, though. All right, all right. Urbosa's Fury is actually so good. Oh, yeah. More flint. <laughs> I don't like to do that to you guys. You guys always just want to eat me. Sapphire too. Oh, it's getting cold. Yeah, we got to change into our warm stuff now. The Great Ascent. Oh, it's really cold. With some warm food in us. <gasps> oh, hello. Oh, yeah. Icy leaves a false tail. I imagine it's probably just uh, another variation of a... Oh, guys, guess what? We have snow boots. We have snow boots. We're faster in the snow. Snow boots really make it way nicer. The snow boots are therapeutic. Like, they sound so nice. It's so satisfying to listen to them. We're getting to the peak of this mountain, guys. I told you we would. We're getting so many rush rooms climbing. These little climbs are good for us because they're doable. We're almost to the peak, guys. I'll go up and then I'll do a survey up here. Guys, we are finally here. Let's get to the very peak. Oh, oh, huh. Fancy meeting you here. Yeah, yeah ha, ha, you found me. Thanks, little buddy. Uh -huh. Bye-bye. I will place this knot on your face. <laughs> From down there, this looks so high up. This is what I was saying, guys. Like, look how high up we are. The only places higher than right here is like that place way over there. Yeah, so that place way over there is super high. Yeah, guys, let's just take a look around here. Oh, look, there's a house over here. There's a house over here. Yeah, what's going on over here? As if there's like a little shack up in the middle of nowhere. Oh, there's a book on this rock. Read the mountain peak log. First page. I come to the snowy mountain intending to find the ancient shrine oh. that was written about in an old text. The shrine slumbers near the pedestal on a snowy Gerudo peak. I believe I've arrived at the pedestal mentioned in the passage. It's been seven days since I arrived at the pedestal mentioned in the ancient text. Unfortunately, I'm eating through my food provisions more quickly than I anticipated. On a brighter note, I found an explanation in the source text that may be the key to this riddle. When the snowy mountain pedestal glows, cast a cold shadow onto its core. I noticed a faint glow to the pedestal for a short while each day. Cast a cold shadow onto its core. It seems that this calls for further research here day I've lost count. I'm certain that casting and cold refer to using a specific type of shadow. But I've run out of food entirely, and I doubt now that I ever had the tools to do the job, whatever they might be. Secret of the Snowy Peak. Imagine what kind of a mental state she was in. Just like a constant war of like, I want this, but I'm not sure if I can have it, you know? All while running on low food provisions. I wonder whatever happened to uh, whoever that was. There's no signs of anyone that was here, though. It's weird that these puddles are just here. Hmm. Some more wolves. Pretty barren on this side of the world. Oh, wow. Look at that. There's a pedestal right here. That must be the one that she was talking about. Huh. Is there anything else up here? So I've been living on this mound for 17 days, and so far I've deduced 
that a shadow has to be casted over this pedestal and the only way I can do that is during the day because the sun is the only way I can generate a shadow. I've been spending my days in deep thought and meditating on what I can do about my current problem. This is day 21 guys and I keep on watching this skeleton hand move around and I'm not sure if it's making its way over here to grab me so I've just been on edge a little bit. I'm on day 29 guys and so far I haven't been able to close my eyes for even a second because I've been so on edge watching this hand so I've resorted to staying on this roof where I fear it is the only safe place for me. All right, this is day 41 and so far I've had to transition mountaintops because I'm absolutely terrified by the attempts that this hand is making very subtly on my life. I've remained in this bush watching it from a distance. This is day 72 and I've resorted to hiding behind this core oak and use him as a meat shield in order to save myself from this hand. Although I believe the hand is hidden in this house in order to, you know, catch me off guard. But I've vowed to keep this core oak in between me and that hand. This is day 96 and I just watched a dog grab the hand and he ran off with it. So now I can finally concentrate on figuring out this puzzle. This is day 105 and I've read that book 67 times. I've concluded that the riddle must mean pedestal glows cast a cold shadow onto its core. This is day 123 and I've read that book about 234 times and I've finally discovered that I think this might be the answer. We wait for this cube to cast its shadow onto that pedestal when the sun of course lines up properly. This is why I've had to spend so many days doing this because I only have just but a moment so now we have to wait until this gets into place this is day 167 i have absolutely no food left all of my clothes i had to eat and all i have left is one acorn and the hope that this might solve the riddle this is simply just the process of earning it this is day 173. I have run out of everything. I have nothing left. I ate my last acorn. Truly a race to see if I will be able to survive or this will answer my prayers. Oh! <laughs> oh, let's go! That was the answer. That was the only thing that made sense. Besides rolling snowballs down a hill and praying they stop at the edge. <laughs> oh! Oh! Unbelievable. We need to get in there before we expire. <laughs> no. Come on, come on, come, 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 come. Oh, let's go. Wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> I've spent so much time on top of this hill. Close to 200 days. All right. Oh, what's it going to be? <laughs> oh. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Suma Shama. By entering this place, you've proven your worth. Okay. Ooh. Moonlight Scimitar. Oh, wow. That's definitely nice. We can definitely use this. <laughs> okay. Thank you. This, this one was very well hidden. I can see why no one's been here yet. I will make great use of it. <laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> We've got seven now. One more and we'll be able to get an upgrade. All right. And may the goddess smile upon you. Well, I have had an amazing time with you guys so far, and we've accomplished so much. We started off by liberating the Gerudo Desert region, then plotting points of interest after we uncovered the local area and worked to solve the mysteries of the century. Later, we saved the stranded Gerudo lady by fixing her a mixed drink made by the second best bartender I know, Furiosa. After that, we slayed our first guardian and conquered the Lome Labyrinth, which houses the rarest armor we've found yet, the Barbarian Armor. Finally, we scaled the enormous Mount Grange and unraveled the mystery of its peak. Thanks again for tuning in, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Take care of yourself, my friends. I appreciate ya.